from Lou Rue de Fleurs. A big thank you to Perry County Council of the Arts for continuing our drop-in art program virtually. Today we are going to be making a fun little recycled juice pouch or juice box project, um, little planter for Mother's Day. So stay tuned to find out how we're going to create this and all the project supplies are coming up next. For today's project you will need an old juice pouch, or take out container with straw, some packaging, leftover packaging, tape, paint brushes, some colorful paints, scissors, and some other packaging to be your palette. So to get started, you'll take your clean juice package or container if you have a juice package, you can cut the top off and make it nice and straight to give yourself a straight edge. And then we want to give it a coat of paint. So you can choose any colorful paints that you think your mom or grandma or other adult that you would perhaps like to give this gift to would enjoy. I'm going to go with a bright, cheerful yellow and give it a nice coat of paint. You may have to give it two coats of paint to cover over all of the um, branding information and all of the words that are on the front of your package. So go ahead and fill it up. And you can do one color or on the example here, I've done a cute little plaid. So that would I would come back later after my bottom coat has dried and add additional colors on top. So you may need to come back and forth a few times to get the look that you want. If you don't have a bunch of paints to work with, you could use stickers or you could glue a piece of colorful paper or wrapping paper on the front and draw a picture. Uh, anything that you want to make it a little bit more creative and cheerful for your gift recipient. So there's my first coat of that. And while I let that dry, we can work on making our little uh, note tag. So to make our note tag, you need to cut off a piece of the packaging and use a different color, a contrasting color. Here I have an aqua. And we are going to use our fingers to make a little caterpillar. So you just dip your finger in to the paint and make a little blob kind of upright, angled upright for the head. And then just back and forth to make a little wiggly body for your caterpillar. And then when that dries, you can draw a little outline around it if you want to. And then to make the speech bubble that I have here, all you need to do is take your paint and you can use your fingers again or you can just make kind of a little bubble shape or a little cloud shape with your paint. And you fill it in, nice little coat. And then just to get that speech bubble look, you just make a little line coming out from your bubble. And that's what makes it look like it's talking. Okay, just fill that in so you have a little bit of room to write your message. And then we will set that aside to dry. And then we'll come back and finish up. Now that our juice pouch is dried, we can finish the decorating and our little tag is also dry. If you're impatient like me, you could use a hair dryer. Um, just ask your adult assistant for some help and uh, speed up the drying by putting that on there. To finish our card, I'm just going to outline the speech bubble with a marker. It doesn't have to be perfect. I kind of like that little sketchy look. It makes it look a little bit more cartoonish. And then I'm also going to go out along the outside of the caterpillar and make it look a little bit more connected by drawing that outline. And if you don't like a line, just go back over it. And 
and you can give them some eyes and little antennae. And then you can write your sentiment inside. If it's for Mother's Day, you could write Happy Mother's Day. You could make it for someone's birthday. You could make it for Father's Day. Or you could make it say, missing you or love you or anything you want. So there's that, and then we'll just cut out around our caterpillar to make it a little bit more of a fun shape. We don't need all of this bulk of the extra packaging. Just cut around the outline, leave a little bit of a border. And then to finish our tag, we're going to use the straw of our juice box and put it on the back there and just tape it together. And that is your little tag that can go inside of your planter. Just like that. Then to finish on the front here, you could use another little piece of your packaging. I cut a heart out of a little colorful spot on my packaging. So I'm just gonna do that. You can either trace something or you can sketch your heart shape on the back. I try to find a spot that has some pretty detail that I might like to capture too. And then cut that out. I got paint on it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just neaten that up. I don't want that red bit. And then again, you can tape or glue that onto your juice box front. You can do this with a box or a pouch, or like I said, an old takeout container, any recycled packaging that you think might work. And then you've got your adorable little planting pouch. So you can go out, if you have a little potting soil, maybe an adult helper can help you find some potting soil and some seeds, or I have a little extra thyme plant from somewhere else in my garden that I'm gonna, I can, dig out and gift, but ask before you dig things up. But maybe you have some seeds you could put in there. Uh, just You can fill up your container and then you stick your little tag in and it's an adorable little recycled gift. So thank you so much for creating with me today.